many migraine sufferers claim that the weather can trigger off one of their blinding headaches. But evidence for this has been pretty scant until now. A recent study shows a definite correlation between the incidence of migraines and the coming of the western Chinook winds, which bring welcome warmth to the chill of winter in Alberta, Canada. Migraines are a bigger problem than most non-sufferers realize. Believe it or not, they affect about 6 in every 100 people. While they may vary from person to person, in general they can best be described as severe recurrent headaches that are often accompanied by nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, and clumsiness, or even numbness in parts of the body. A migraine symptom can sometimes last for several days, and in the most serious cases, patients may see spots or lines in their visual field, and may even experience slurred speech and temporary paralysis. Unfortunately, these episodes are still little understood. Amazingly, out of the 75 migraine patients studied, nearly half, 32 in all, were more likely to have migraines when the Chinook winds were blowing than on still days when the winds weren't blowing. Some migraine sufferers, especially the elderly, were particularly susceptible when the winds were strongest. And others were more at risk in the days preceding the arrival of the Chinooks. The Chinook winds are ideal for studying a link between weather change and migraine because they start and stop at clearly definable times and bring about a profound weather change. Moreover, unlike other winds or weather phenomena, the Chinooks are usually associated with positive psychological and physical effects, because they raise the bitter winter temperature when they blow. But how and why this would affect migraine sufferers is however still a mystery. Some researchers say that it is possible that the drop in barometric pressure that the winds bring about may be involved. Another factor that people suspect is the sharp rise in the concentration of positive ions that occurs when the Chinook velocities exceed 38 km per hour. This study scientifically validates what patients have been saying all along, that weather has a definite effect on them. Better still. The researchers say their findings raise the possibility that such patients might benefit from short-term preventive treatment, at appropriate times in the same way for example, that females who experience migraines before their monthly periods can now be treated. 